The movie that you've got here tonight is called Powder 3D, which means fear in 3D. That's quite a bold title, isn't it? We, uh, we were scared a little bit that this title would be a bit pretentious because every horror movie on heart is about fear. So call our own movie Fear is a big thing to handle. Uh, but uh, we are proud of the results. So I hope some sleepless night came out, out of watching this movie. But then the movie is about uh, uh, lots of, kind of, uh, of types of, of, of fears. So I think it's, uh, the title is Fear 3D, so three times fear, and, uh, and the, the, the movie is uh, three parts, no? uh, three kind of uh, fear, and so I think it's the perfect title for the movie. And you shot this movie, as you said, in 3D. How did you find shooting in 3D? And what do you think 3D brings to a horror movie? For horror, of course, uh, uh, sometimes you need to, the audience to feel, uh, to be inside the screen. And 3D does this uh, sensation, this, no? this uh, feelings to the audience. Uh, shooting 3D was uh, hard because uh, you have to be careful about lots of things during uh, shooting a movie and you have to be careful even at the 3D. Of course, there have been many great Italian horror films over the years. How daunting is it as a filmmaker stepping into that tradition and making an Italian horror movie? I think we have two problems. First problem is we have a great past and Italians, maybe they made some of the best horror movies ever, but in the meantime we are a terrible present because it's something like 20 years that Italians make bad horror movies. So we are on a terrible cliff. From one side our past is too big and the other side our present is too low and we put we are like two or three directors right now in Italy that we are trying to bring back the ship uh, sailing and I think we are making it. Good stuff. I mean, what do you think is the way forward for Italian horror? What do you think can bring it back to what it was? I think the way for Italian horror, like it was before, is, uh, I don't know, maybe we have a very pronounced dark side, Italians, and we used to put inside films something that, for example, Americans were scared to put. So we, we, we used to push our pedal a little bit more far than Americans used to do. Uh, so I think that's what Italian movies should be again, should push the pedal on darkness. Tell me a bit about the music in the film as well, the score that you've got in Powder 3D. Yeah, music is very important for us and then it's very important in this movie because if, 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 in a horror movie I think music is fundamental and uh, we always work with uh, uh, Pivio, that is a great musician, uh, we, also, we, we always work with him but here we put lots of songs uh, from uh, uh, ra Italian rap uh, to uh, Italian uh, metal. Um, so we have a lot of, lot of influences and a lot of, uh, I think, of sounds that can uh, go with the, with the movie. And I want to quote one song. There's one song in the movie by the Japanese group Galhammer. The song is uh, called Endless Nauseous Days. And this is the song that inspired us for the movie. This is the song we are listening to, we are writing. And so we have a special homage to that song that is twice in the movie. So the music in the movie is very eclectic. What about the influences on the movie? I think that uh, we are very eclectic and we put a lot of different influences when we do things. But believe me, we don't do it on purpose. <laughs> so I think it's uh, the collection of experiences and things that we like that uh, even if we want to stop them sometimes, sometimes we told each other, let's say do something more, <laughs> you know, <laughs> unique, more, I don't know, focused. But then everything we like, we put it. So even if the movie is very serious and scary, we can't avoid putting some laugh in it and so on. So I think it's definitely instinct that drives us. And finally, what's next for you guys? Uh, next we are in, uh, in two months, uh, in November, uh, we will start shooting a new film, it's a cop comedy movie, it's a, a creature movie, uh, something like Alien, Alien, it's something we really think can be real stuff. And what kind of cast are you thinking about for that? In the cop movie, we, we wrote it together with an actor, that is the protagonist of our TV series, Inspector Coliando, so he'll definitely be in. For the other one, uh, we don't know yet. We have some little dreams, 
uh, our dream of protagonists is, uh, I, I say it, I don't know if I should, Numi Rapace. <laughs>